Hey everybody, this is Cameron with the Sea Butters channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the original Samsung Galaxy Gear running the new Tizen operating system. Now this is a change from the default Android, but it's added quite a few new features uh, that didn't exist on the, the Galaxy Gear. To start with, they don't call any of this Galaxy Gear anymore, even when you're using the Galaxy Gear Watch, it's all using the same framework as uh, the new uh, Gear 2 and Gear Fit that Samsung is toting. So you want to download the Gear Manager software, not the Galaxy Gear uh, software. Uh, you can get that from the Samsung uh, App Store. And um, I just wanted to go over a few new features that that you can see on this watch. Um, in order to get this set up, uh, it's not available in the U.S. Uh, as by default as a default update. Um, but what you can do is I'll post a link on a guide on how to install it. It's available in Canada and a few other countries, and it's a real easy uh, flash uh, process to to get the Tizen onto the Galaxy Gear. Um, so let's get right to it. You can do everything you could before. You can answer calls. You can um, get notifications. You can um, have a pedometer and do several different things on this phone. The interface is very similar um, other than it's not running Android OS. It's running Tizen OS. So um, the first thing we're going to look at here is uh, the first thing that stood out to me which was um, the fact that they have this new section called exercise. This is in addition to um, just the pedometer. They have, uh, you know, you can say, I am cycling, I am running, I am walking, and it will actually uh, let you do more fitness-oriented things. So if we go into the running section, if you hit this little menu icon up at the top, you can set a goal, which could be, you know, I want to run uh two miles and then boom when you go it you will uh you know have that as your as your goal so a little bit more robust features there um the the other thing you can see you got the gallery the other thing that's really cool about tizen is you actually have a music player right on the device so you can play music right on the watch itself you can click the little menu there to turn your volume up or um, so you actually have four gigs a little less um, than that once you have the operating system installed to put some music so if you go running you don't actually need your phone to play music and the other cool thing is this watch will actually pair with um, a Bluetooth headset all on its own apart from the phone so you are using Bluetooth from the phone to talk to this but the watch will itself will talk to a Bluetooth headset so that's actually really cool um, the battery life is also much better on Tizen uh, I don't know if that's a, just a function of it's built from the ground up for a watch um, but there is a, a difference there you've got the standard pedometer um, and it also has this really neat sleep functionality so how this works is you turn it on when you go to sleep and it blocks out all this alerts from going on your phone um, and it will actually you know track how long you sleep and it'll also track vibrations when you sleep uh, so kinda cool um, so it works the same way to back up you just swipe down the other new feature uh, that I don't believe was on the standard Galaxy is this voice memo feature, which is really useful for taking really quick notes um, and being able to, uh, you know, play them back or save them for later. So uh, it's really useful just for taking really quick notes on your on your on your wrist there. So um, you have the standard obligatory weather app. Um, but let's go ahead and look at watch faces themselves here and what the other features you can get in the gear so you can go to the home screen styler and a you can choose a different background for your watch um, I kinda like the default there 
but you also can choose all kinds of different watch faces. Uh, so if you want to have cool looking style, there's lots to choose from. Um, they're all pretty basic. Um, but it's also possible to go into the Samsung X and get lots of different new watch faces as well. So there's a lot more robust control over the notifications that, that happen. Um, you can uh, choose all the different applications that you'd want to get notifications for. Uh, some, some notifications you want just on your phone and some you want on your watch. Uh, so you can kind of make those decisions there. Um, the watch itself has a motion sensor just like it did before where if you flick your wrist up it will turn the watch on. I've disabled that. I find just in normal movement it turns on way too much and it is a real battery drain if you're just gonna have that on all the time. Uh, so uh, let me show you what some of the notifications look like. So to show off the notifications, I'm going to go ahead and send myself a text message from a different phone. And you can see what that looks like there on the watch. i am just sent it. So you can take a look and see what you what you have there. You can also uh, choose to view that on your device. So if I hit this button right here, um, it then goes to the device and it pulls it up so you can uh, respond from your phone. You also have the option of hitting this reply button and you have some canned replies that you can send to someone really quickly. So that's fairly cool. Um, so notifications are much better on this OS than the first Galaxy Gear. Um, a lot better. Let's go ahead and look at the call log functionality. You can also see all the calls you've received and also um, any text messages that you've sent back and forth. So you can actually go in and see a log of what's been happening in the calls you've received and the text messages you've received. But as you can see here, you don't actually get detail into what those are. Um, Although you can click into notifications and see your messages uh, and review those from there. So um, it would be nice if that was linked up. So if you were looking through your log, it would actually take you directly to um, the message that you're looking at in the log. That'd be kind of cool to be able to reference it that quickly. Um, but uh, you do have the option to, to pull that up right there. Um, there are also lots of third-party uh, capabilities um, in the gear manager uh, just whoever is willing to write applications for that um, there's not a whole lot to choose from but there are lots of uh, clock faces um, that you can look at and there are several running applications um, you know some social media stuff health and fitness apps uh, so there are some things out there that exist okay so let's look at the fitness section that it has in here here you can get um, details of you know all the pedometer activity that you've done uh, this is also where you would get that sleep data and details of any exercise that you had done with this watch now what the original gear is lacking versus the other ones is there's no heart rate detection on this device although um, it seems to have pretty much all the other features that the other ones do with this Tizen update which is really nice that it's uh, able to you know give a more robust experience they didn't just leave us by the wayside for us 
first gen users. Uh, so that's actually really cool of Samsung that, that they've done that. Uh, so other than that, real similar uh, to what you've already seen uh, if you already have a Galaxy Gear, um, but you just get the extra features of the sleep mode, better battery life, um, more exercise tracking, uh, voice recording, um, and uh, better notifications handling, and the ability to pair with uh, Bluetooth headset. So really, it it really adds a whole lot of functionality to the Samsung Galaxy Gear first edition. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm wearing my Galaxy Gear a lot more now, and uh, I, I'm glad we weren't left by the wayside. Thanks for watching this uh, quick overview of new Tizen features and uh, abilities on the original Samsung Galaxy Gear 1. Please subscribe. Uh, love to make it to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, we've got one, just hit 1.5 million views. Um, any comments that you have, uh, feel free to uh, leave them if you have any questions about this operating system or how to get it on your Galaxy Gear. I'd be happy to answer and respond to any of those. And uh, I will see you in new videos coming soon.